So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make Raspberry Pi OS into an awesome gaming operating system for the Raspberry Pi 4 or Pi 400. So I'm going to be go going over lots of applications that you can install, different software, and just how to make it better in terms of gaming. So to start off with, we're actually going to be installing RetroPie because Raspberry Pi is run RetroPie incredibly well. You can do a lot of emulation and it just works incredibly well. So to install RetroPie, you actually just go over to their website and they actually have a whole guide right here. So first we have to update our system because we want to get the latest repository. So we just copy this one command, open up our terminal right here, and we're going to paste that in there. And this is just normal stock Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. Most of these applications would work on the 64-bit version, but it's probably going to work a bit better on the 32-bit because it's not in beta. But yeah, you have to get that upgrade going, and then we'll have to install RetroPie. So it's my system is already up to date. So now we actually have to install this one package so that the RetroPie script can work. They've actually made it really easy to do. You just copy their script and it actually does everything for you. But yeah, we just have to get all the dependencies and everything that we need like that. So now we get cloning the RetroPie setup and then we're going to just run the RetroPie setup with this command right here. So they have these copy buttons right here. Just copy that, paste it in your terminal and we are good to go. So right there, that's right there is running the RetroPie script. First of all, it needs a few dependencies, so it's grabbing those from the internet. And then it will go right into the setup that looks exactly like this, and we'll be able to install our RetroPie on Raspberry Pi OS. It's done running now. Now we see the graphical user interface. So we're going to hit OK right here, and it's going to... We're going to get to this menu right here. So it's the latest version of RetroPie, and we can install everything. But if you want just the main packages, you don't want to go through and change anything, just go basic install. That's what I'm going to do. It's going to install the core things. It's going to install emulation station and just get everything ready for us on Raspberry Pi OS. So I'm going to be going with the basic install. So hit enter. And do I want to go? Are you sure? Yes. So this actually does take a while because it's grabbing lots of emulators, emulation station, dependencies. So don't get worried if you just, it keeps on going. It really does take a long time. So we just have to be patient and wait for this thing to be done. Alrighty, once it's done installing, you'll just see the same menu again. And if you see that, that means you're good. So we can actually just exit out of here. We don't need RetroPie script anymore. And we are ready to launch RetroPie. But before, if you might look in your system, there is no RetroPie logo or anything like that. Like, I like to have a RetroPie mini where I can just hit it to launch RetroPie. So I'll show you how to create one of those. Get, so to get started, we're going to go over to Preferences, and we're going to go to Main Menu Editor. Wait for it to launch. I'm going to go over here to Games, and I'm going to click New Item. We're going to make our own editor. So name, I'm going to call it RetroPie, because that's what it is. Command is actually going to be emulation station. So you're just going to type that exact thing because that's how we launch RetroPie from the terminal. But this will just make it like that. A comment, you could write something like I can just call it gaming. And an image. So I actually have a RetroPie icon in my system. I will upload this to a place where you can download it from. And I'll leave the link in the description if you want to use it. Because it's a really nice RetroPie logo. So launch in terminal, we do want that because it has to launch in the terminal. We're going to click OK and click OK right here. So if we go right here, now we see we have a games menu. Let's try the RetroPie thing and see if it actually works. Let's click on it. Give it a second. And there we go. We are in emulation station now. So like I have my controller right here. Let's just set it up. Let's set up my controller real fast. And... I mean, it's all functioning correctly. You have the latest re Raspberry Pi OS desktop, and now you're going to have RetroPie on your system. So it's pretty cool. Weird things like that. So let's exit out of here, and now we are in the RetroPie menu. As you might see, there's nothing showing right here because I haven't added any games. I haven't done anything. I'll get to that in one second, but we are in the RetroPie logo right now we're in the RetroPie system so we can go through our commands and change different things right here if we want but if you want to exit RetroPie basically you hit start and you go quit or you can hit F4 if you do have a con 
um, keyboard connected to your system, F4 will also do the trick. But yeah, so that is how we get into RetroPie and we have a menu icon right now. And how do I add ROMs to my RetroPie? Well, if, to answer that question, open up your file manager, go over here to RetroPie, that folder, go to ROMs, and right here you'll see you have all these folders already here. So like N64, Nintendo 64, if you have N64 ROMs, drag, drop them into this folder and then they will show up in RetroPie once you launch RetroPie. So you can do that to all these different ROMs, add them, drop them, and you will see them in the correct folders. And if we wanted to install more emulators, let's say, we have to launch RetroPie once more. To install, let's say we want PSP, I mean PPSSP, or we want Dreamcast. Well, to do that, we go into the RetroPie menu and we go down to RetroPie Setup. We're going to click that. It's actually going to launch it in the terminal. Give it a second. And we're going to go down to Manage Packages. And there's core, main, op, driver, X, and dependency. So you can actually go through these different packages looking for the um, emulator that you want. Like mine may be in main. So if I click main, there's tons of here. Like Beetle is for different emulators. And there's just tons of them here. So I can go through here looking for the ones that I want and install them. So most of the main ones are already installed, but optional. So like there's Daphne, there's DOSBox, there's tons of them here. So you can go through this menu, selecting the ones that you want and the ones you, that you don't want. And when you install it, it's actually going to create a folder for you in your home folder where you can add the ROMs to. So that's basically how you get RetroPie set up on your Raspberry Pi OS. Now for the next part of this video. If you're not into emulation as much and you want to play modern games, well, the two apps that really help the most with that are PyApps and PyKiss. I cover these apps a lot in my videos, but there's just so much that you can do with them. They're so awesome, and I love them. So we're actually going to be installing both of those because they have a, a huge amount of games and software that we, we need to play games on our Raspberry Pi. So to start out, we'll go with PyApps, and we can just copy the install script right here. Copy that one. And paste it in our terminal. Because these two apps make installing games and software so much easier. I can't tell you how much they really help. Next, PyKiss. Let's just install both of them real fast so we can have them in our system. So, right here, PyKiss. And you see right now, um, PyApps is getting installed real fast. Let's just let PyKiss load up. And we can scroll down all the way down here till we find the install script. Right here, installation. It's a curl command. We just copy that one curl command. And PyApps is now done installing. Let's just go ahead and run the PyKiss script too so we can have both of them done and installed. Okay, so PyKiss is now almost done installing. Now it's done. So let's go and look at Py PyKiss real fast. It's in System Tools, and we have PyKiss. Click on it. It's going to launch the PyKiss.sh. So with these two things, you can have a desktop, you can have emulation, and you can have modern games. And PyKiss helps you install those a lot. So if we go to the Games folder, look here. We have tons of games right here. We have Diablo. We have Diablo 2. We have GTA. There's GTA 3, GTA, and Vice City in here. So you might want to check these out because they are really cool. Why is the exit button not working? Huh, weird. So there might be a little bug with that. Let's just go back and launch PyKiss. Go into the games folder one more time. So we have GTA, we have Half-Life, we have Heroes 2, Hurricane, Morrowind. So there's, look at all these games, StarCraft, Sam 12. So PyKiss really has all the games that you could want. And he keeps on adding more to the developer. So it's a really useful app. I would recommend installing it on your gaming machine, your Pi 4, and going through these different games and seeing if you want to play them. I'm not going to go through installing them because all you have to do to install is hit enter and it installs it. But they are very useful. So that is PyKiss for you. It's really helpful. Next, Pi Apps. We just use the menu icon right here. We go execute. Give it a second. And we're going to go first to the games folder and see what we have here. 
So we have Descent, Descent 2, we have Doom 3, we have Minecraft Bedrock, Minecraft Java, Minecraft Pi, and we have PPSSP, the PlayStation Portable Emulator, we have Steam, and we have Stunt Rally. So all these games actually do perform incredibly well on the Pi. Doom 3 is actually really surprising. It's a pretty modern game for the Raspberry Pi, and it runs incredibly well. And you, you do have to own the game for this to work. You can use the demo files, but it's better to own the game. So this is the games folder in Pi Apps. There's tons of games here. I'd recommend checking that out. But two more apps that really help on the Raspberry Pi would be Box86 and Wine for gaming. And you might install these and you don't know what you can run with them. Well, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the channel Pi Labs. They do a lot of content about creep about Box86 and Wine, and what games you can run on them. So check them out and you might get a better idea of what you can do with Box86 and Wine. But to install those, we're going to go to Tools. And actually, there's Box86 here and then there's Wine down here. But Wine actually installs Box86 when doing it, so you only need to install Wine. Click Install. And now it is going and grabbing Wine for me real fast, plus Box86. So when you get to this part of installing Wine, you're going to need to install Mono and then Gecko. So we're just going to click Install, and these two packages are needed by Wine and Box86 to be able to run Windows apps correctly. So after Mono, it's going to say Gecko, also click Install on that one so that everything can function on the right way. Now Wine is done installing for me, so we have Wine plus Box86. And if you want to just make sure, open up your terminal, so click on the terminal icon right here, type in well, Pi-Apps is still open, let's just click right out of it, type Box86, and if stuff shows up, that means Box86 is installed. Let's type Wine real fast, and Wine is also installed. So both of those two programs are installed, and if you don't know what to do with those programs, like I mentioned, check out the channel I'm going to link in the description, and they do a lot of Box86 content, so you can know what you can do with those two apps. So, after Box86 and Wine, using Box86, you can actually install Steam on your Raspberry Pi 4. It can play all games, it can only play Linux games, and it's still pretty beta, but it does work really well. So, let's use PyApps to install that. Let's go over to Games, and let's go Steam. We're going to click Steam right here, we're going to click Install. So, this is also using Box86, because it is the x86 Linux version of Steam. And this script will make a desktop icon for us too. So it's pretty useful. Now Steam is done installing. So we have a really cool base now. We have Steam, we have Box86, we have Wine, we have RetroPie. There are, are a few more things that you might want to install. Like you can install PPSSP by itself or you could install it in RetroPie. I personally like having it in RetroPie because I can have all of my emulation stuff in one menu. But one thing that is pretty cool, you cannot install Dolphin on here because Dolphin is only meant for 64-bit systems, but the developer of PyKiss has actually got it running really well, so let's install Dolphin. It's not going to be in your RetroPie, but it will. you will see it will play Wii GameCube games on Raspberry Pi OS, so it's pretty cool. Let's go over to Emulation, and if we scroll down right here, we see Dolphin. Let's get Dolphin, and it is getting it. It's compiled. And there we go, we already have Dolphin installed. Click enter. Look here, this is the full Dolphin emulator running on our Raspberry Pi OS. I just think that is pretty darn cool. We have it right here too. Just that we can have Dolphin, we can have RetroPie, all these apps on our system. So, it's, I mean, it's pretty darn cool. So if you follow this guide, now you have a really strong base on your system. You have PyKiss, you have PyApps to install other games, you have RetroPie to install emulators and play emulation, and now you have Box86 and Wii, uh, Box86 and Wine to play different Windows and Linux games. So this guide really helps you get that nice solid base on your Raspberry Pi OS so to be able to install more games and have fun. So this guide I hope was helpful for you guys. Any questions about what I did or what I should do, let me know down below in the comments. And thanks for watching.